everyone, Christine here and welcome to today's pod talk. I've had the Lumi recovery pod for over a year now, so I thought I'd give a, a brief update and review on how it's going. The construction's still solid, it's got lots of water in it at the moment so that's why it's quite rigid. So anyone who was asking about creases and have not able to get the creases out, just put lots more water in it. I, I have it up to about six inches from the top, so that should um, flatten out any creases that you've got. The only issue I do have is the lid. After a heavy rainfall or a couple of weeks rain, I haven't been in the pod for a couple of weeks. Life's just so busy with having a full-time job and then coming home and walking Ollie, our new puppy. So I haven't had much time to go in the pod. So this is what the lid looks like after a couple of weeks of rain. It's not looking great, there's even, even a little baby snail. So I'm gonna have to gonna have to get a little cup and empty it out. So I'll be right back. sun's very bright today so quite a lot of people have been saying about the lid to put a beach ball in it I haven't got around to doing that yet but really should I have to this is what the pod looks like after a couple of weeks not dipping in it so it's still relatively clean still a bit bugs let's have a look it is about 11 degrees the pod is relatively easy to clean. We have to take that plug out. Again, for me, I don't know whether I've got very weak fingers or not, but I can't get it to open. So I have to get David to help me with that one. And then it all floods out. And then I just use a, a cloth and just wipe it around. But other than that, it's easy to clean. After I've put clean water in, I use clear spa bromine granules. I use about 10 to 15 grams of the granules. Just tip it in and just let it do its, do its job. People people say about algicide and yeah, during the summer, I think you would need that, but I don't want to put as much chemicals in it. So this is the only chemicals I put in. My tripod broke when I went to Scotland last year and I haven't replaced it yet so I'm having to do it like this so when I have been in the pod the past month it's been mainly to do with pain relief I've got a bit of a headache today and I did a couple of weeks ago and it's one of those ones that are hormonal and you just can't get rid of so anyway a couple of minutes in the pod try and get it upright to your, your neck and it does really help. Well, it did me. So let's hope it'll help the headache today. So the water this season, over this past year, has been ranging from two degrees, which was during the winter time when it was a, when we had frosty. And then during the summer, it was up to like 21, 22 degrees, which is a bit too, too hot for a cold pot, but what can you do? So anyway, I'm just gonna sit here for a couple of minutes. Water, as you saw, was 11 degrees. I'll do about seven minutes since I haven't been in it for very long, but the sun's quite warm, so it's quite, quite relaxing. So I'm gonna sit here and just relax. Oh. None of these videos that I do about the Lumi pod are sponsored, so I don't get any, any money from them or any any bonuses so it's all purely my what I found and my thoughts um, but yeah if you're interested in cold plunging then I'd go for it I mean there's so many different types out there now ranging from like 50 quid to thousand so um find which one is good for you um I've only got a small yard so this is ideal yeah it's good 
good addition to my swimming or my dipping. So I'm rambling now. So I'm going to turn you off and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know when that's going to be because as you saw in the term up water video, it wasn't, it was a bit difficult to swim when we had Ollie and because he's only seven months, I want to give him a good start in life and have him going on adventures. So I don't know where or when my next swim adventure will be, but I'll bring you along with me. So until then, stay safe and take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.